My name is Alex, uh, founder and CEO of GMI Cloud, who provides super fast inference and compute infrastructure for anyone that wants to train or fine tune or inference on, on our platform. Currently, we run about eight data centers across five countries. We're the only company that offers global GPU services uh, from US coast to coast to East Asia and Southeast Asia. And we're soon building a new one in uh, a massive campus in Texas for, for what the guests here <laughs> and uh, also in Korea as well. So, you know, all these data, it has to store somewhere. It has to be processed somewhere. And I am that kind of processor. And to balance it on kind of two few years ago, uh, it was mostly text data. It was just uh, training all that so we're getting a lot of retraining workloads. You know, this goes to kind of my point where it used to be simpler to just use text data to train these models. But in order for models to improve, to be more intelligent, you need to have multimodal data to understand how the real world operates. That's why you need a camera, right? you need voice. And these are magnitude difference in terms of uh, data size. I see this very clearly because in terms of the storage, the hyperplus storage that we buy, exponential. Uh, we used to be terabytes and now every unit are petabytes and exabytes, which is Quite scary. I haven't seen that two years ago. It was still terabytes. Uh, because now it's all the video models are all in five plus terabytes. Right? And I think the question was on the efficiency. And here's like what we do a little bit creative because we have all the GPUs across the world. The workloads are different. For example, in Pacific time, there's probably the peak workloads are from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. And we can actually match that to different time zones. So we manage the different peaks for different customers and pipe different customers' workloads onto different time zones GPUs. So it balances out all the workloads and lowers the cost for everyone. For example, we have our customers that are like, hey, our customers are all in the West Coast. So we actually want to rent a queue from you for an entire year, but I only want to use eight hours at a time, which is like what I'm going to do for the rest. The great thing is we have compute for all as customers all over the world, so we kind of balance that out for our customers. So I guess there's a lot of unused capacities, but you have to just kind of build a load balancer for all the customers around the world.